Subha Siva Kumaran, welcome. Thank you. Rafik Omrami, welcome. Thank You're you. from Tunisia, Rafik. Um, and Suba is from Sri Lanka originally, now mm -hmm. based in the, the UK. UK. Your film is a short film. It's one of four short films in the Tunisia factory. It's called L'Oiseau Bleu, The Blue Bird. And it's apparently based on a short story. Uh, you give the name of an author. First of all, Rafik, is it a real short story? Um, yeah, uh, the story exists already, but uh, to match the story with the space, yeah, it's a pure uh, fiction. So, but why did you come up with this idea? Why use the storytelling context for this half-hour film? Um, you know, the idea really was uh, the fable of uh, L'Oiseau Bleu was, uh, was, as Rafik mentioned, a medieval story. But I think we wanted, and, and the restaurant is called L'Oiseau Bleu, so we wanted to match both the fable, the restaurant, and current day Tunisia. You play with sound in the film um, that's in the same way that it's used in cinema, but that we don't usually realize so much. Um, you use it to enhance different moods in the film, um, in the space of this restaurant. Do you have a music background? How has music influenced your lives? I think she do. <laughs> Super. <laughs> so I, uh, no, I learned the piano till uh, grade eight and was um, thinking of seriously continuing it after that. Uh, my family also has a, uh, as a Tamil uh, singing background as well. So it's always been there. Why did you use music particularly to help tell this story and talk about what some people have said is very political? Yeah, the idea was um, how to describe this uh, Tunisia of today, how, how to talk about this complexity of the situation now in Tunisia, where, and, the st and to stay at the same moment, same moment in a good mood. This is a major cross-cultural experience. Um, Tunisian on one hand and Arabic language and Sri Lankan British on the other um, English and Tamil perhaps yes. also and Tamil <laughs> what remains for you of this cross-cultural experience of working together on this short film L'Oiseau Bleu how is it going to affect your filmmaking how will it affect you Suba sure uh, I think it has already affected us both profoundly, uh, the experience itself. Um, if I were to sum it up, I, I myself have learned how to go slower and to go gently uh, into the process, uh, which of course the language barrier makes you do that. But by doing that, you enter something in a different way. Rafik? Um. I think what, what I'm happy with is that it's a film, uh, it's a very Tunisian film and maybe international or so at the same time. I mean, uh, every one of us put something of, of him, if I can tell it like this, in, in his film, uh, in this film. And uh, it's, it wasn't very, uh, it wasn't easy at the beginning. So it, I think this uh, exchange between in the human side, I mean, between me and Suba. Well, we look forward to seeing those films when they're made. Um, we hope that as many people as possible can see L'Oiseau Bleu, the blue bird. We wish you all the very best with it. So, Rafik Omrani, Suba Siva Kumaran, thank you very much for being with us today, our guests here in Cannes. Thank you very much. Thank you.